This stuff is so good though. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Veggie Rolls. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any more delicious food. Alright, so in today's video, we're going to be making a Chipotle hash brown sandwich. I'm going to be showing you guys my secret Chipotle sauce. So, yeah, let's get veggie. Alright, so we're going to get started with our Chipotle sauce. Now, you guys know how much I love myself a good quick blender recipe. So, for this sauce, you're going to be needing about a cup of cilantro. This is like a cup or a handful, really. So you're going to toss that into your blender. You could also use a food processor if you like. I'm also going to be using two garlic cloves and two sun-dried tomatoes. Or this is, I don't know, I guess this is like technically one sun-dried tomato. But it's like the package I bought was like halved. I'm also using a fourth of a package of soft tofu. And the package is the 14 ounce package. So I'm using a fourth of that. And I'm also using two pieces of chipotle peppers and this is the chipotle peppers in adobo sauce that comes in a can so this is the can that mine came in and they usually come like in a small can like this and it just says chilies chipotles uh up oh, in spicy adobo sauce so chipotle peppers in adobo sauce and those are really spicy so if you don't want it to be too spicy add a little at a time but i think the two is pretty good because you're not going to use a ton of this sauce in your sandwiches so yeah all right and next we're going to go ahead and just sprinkle in a cracking of pepper a cracking of pepper is that a thing and then we're going to go ahead and sprinkle on some salt and then we're going to blend all right so now that our sauce has blended we're going to go ahead and give it a taste And that's really good. So I'm not going to add any additional salt. But at this time, if you wanted to add more salt and pepper, you can. All right, guys. So for the hash browns, you could either do the hash brown, like the make the hash brown out of the tater tots in the waffle maker, like I did in my uh, fully loaded waffle, like tater tot waffle video. Or you could also just use regular hash browns for this recipe. The reason I like to use these is one, because it looks kind of cool. And two, because these, um, these tater tots are seasoned. And it's hard for me to find seasoned uh, hash browns. Alright guys, so I've already started on the tofu. And here we have half of a block of tofu. And this is extra firm tofu. And that package was a 14 ounce, 14 ounce block of tofu. So it was half of that. Sliced into four, a fourth of an inch slices. And I just toss them in there, and while they're already cooking, I'm going to go ahead and season it with some onion powder. I'm almost out of onion powder. I'm also going to add some salt here right on the pan while it's cooking. And then I'm also going to crack some pepper onto the tofu. And then you're just going to check these out on the other side. And once they start turning a nice, like, golden color, you can go ahead and flip them. So these are ready once the other side also gets brown. Alright, so our tofu is ready to go. And we're just going to go ahead and put this into a plate while... You know, just to rest while we go ahead and cut up our condiments. Alright, so next we're going to go ahead and toast our bread. I'm using these like ginormous slices of bread. And this is an Italian bread called uh, Pan Tirano or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. But um, the full recipe link is down below. You can see like a full list of ingredients and all that stuff there. And we're going to be using some Earth Balance. And I'm going to go ahead and spread some Earth Balance on my bread. So I'm going to put this about medium high. And I'm just going to go ahead and place our bread butter side down. 
I'm going to go ahead and spread some of the butter on top of the bread while it's on the pan. Risky, I know, but I want it to be softened so it'll be a little easier to spread. All right, so what do we have to assemble? We have our bread, our tofu, our hash brown, avocado, lettuce, cilantro, and tomato. And of course, our mayo and our chipotle sauce. So I just like, I kind of have to dip a, a bit of this hash brown into chipotle sauce. I just can't help it. I can't wait. Mm. Oh my goodness. I can eat it just like that and it's fine. All right, let's get to assembly. So, first thing you're gonna do is grab some of your chipotle sauce and spread it onto the bread. You're gonna spread that onto one slice of bread. And if you don't like things that are too spicy, just take it easy on the sauce because this sauce will burn your tongue off if you put way too much. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and lay on our hash brown or waffle tater top, tater top waffle, whatever you're using this time. And you're gonna go ahead and put on some slices of tofu on top of your sandwich. And then on top of the tofu, you're gonna go ahead and add your tomatoes And you're gonna put your lettuce on top of that. You can be as generous or as non-generous as you choose here. Onto this slice, we're gonna go ahead and add our slices of avocado. You want every bite to have avocado. Obviously, if you like avocados, of course. And then you're going to toss on some cilantro leaves. You can do as little or as much as you like here. I love cilantro, so I put a lot. And then we're going to go ahead and finish this off by, of course, putting this lid on it. And boom, there you have this amazing... Like, how delicious does that look? Then you can go ahead and slice the thing. And there it is. Boom! Check it out. You guys, tell me how delicious that looks. I mean, seriously. It looks delicious and... Well, it is. Alright, so it's time for the taste test cam. And I'm trying my best. I don't even know how to hold this thing. I don't even know what's the best. Oh, that looks good. That looks good right there. Let's go in. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That was just the edge of the sandwich. And it was amazing. It was so good. You know how the edge of a sandwich is always kind of the side that's like, eh. And the middle is like the best of the best. Well, the side of the sandwich is amazing. So could you imagine actually getting in there where the chipotle is? And the hash brown and the crispy tofu and the avocado and the cilantro and the lettuce and just so oh I gotta go you guys because I really have to eat this like I'm just like now I don't think I can complete sentences correctly I have to go I gotta eat this so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to share this video so other people can see how delicious vegan food can be and go ahead and click on one of these videos to continue watching and I will talk to you guys very soon bye guys